Welcome back, everyone. Uh, the Tryon Equestrian Center is getting families into the Christmas spirit. Winterfest is already up and running this year, and it includes a special attraction. So let's find out what that is. Seven News is Christine Scarpelli. She's live in Tryon yes. with more. Hey You're guys. having a lot of fun out there. Yep. I love it. We are having so much fun. Listen, this is the first Sibila. We are in our little vehicle. We call it the Bat Bus, the Batmobile. Photographer Ryan and I, uh, there he is. Say hello, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ryan. There we go. So we're back here with Doug as well. We're at the Tryon International Equestrian Center, and we are talking about Christmas lights. Doug, tens of thousands of Christmas lights. We got to show people just a little treat, what you may experience. We're listening to music on our radio in the car as well. Doug, how long did this take to set up? So every bit of six weeks, we started in early October to set this up and they worked seven days a week for six weeks to get this going by uh, last what? week. Wow, six weeks. You guys just had a Spartan race here. So I know you had a lot going on. Um, why bring the Shadrach's holiday Christmas spectacular to try on? It's kind of a far <laughs> ways for it to come from Tennessee. Yes, we always just, we wanted to, we, we knew we have huge potential for Christmas time at this yeah. resort and we thought what a better place for Shadrachs to be. We have a great facility that was spread out enough to have this great show and it's worked out really well. I say so. This is really, really interesting. You have some kids. You said they approve? Oh, they definitely approve. Uh, wow. My teenagers uh, both gave it a stamp of approval, a stamp, and uh, <laughs> it's really been a great hit. Listen, at the end of these Christmas lights, it's two miles of Christmas lights. Um, you actually go see, I think, what is it? Is it Santa at two, the end of this? Two mile course, and at the end, we have Winterfest activities going on at the resort. We have Santa Claus every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the light <laughs> route itself, the light show, is seven nights a week okay. until January 5th. So maybe if you can't come on a weekend, if you've got your own city's Christmas festivities on a weekend, you might be able to come during the weekend. It might even be a maybe less of a crowd. Exactly. If you ah. catch a Monday through Thursday, we still expect to be pretty busy, but obviously the volume should be much lighter on a Monday through Thursday. But part of the atmosphere is all the people, too, on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so oh, yeah. whatever works for you. Little hot cocoa involved here, right? I know Santa's going to show up. There's pancakes with Santa at one point. Your dogs are welcome. This is not your typical Christmas music, either. This no. is a pretty... <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have a little bit of everything this Christmas. So oh, good. A little bit for everybody from, yes, the hot cocoa, uh, Santa Claus, the Grinch is here several Naturally. Uh, several different times. So check our website for that at tryon.com. I love it. Doug, give us a wave. Thank you guys so much. We'll send it back to you from Tryon International Equestrian Center. I'll put all of this information at WSPA.com as well so you can come back and experience this for yourself. But pretty neat, right? Absolutely. Something for everyone, including the dogs. All right, Christy, maybe you take Nugget, Nugget the Wise there. <laughs> the reindeer. <laughs> all right. Oh, she's Fred. coming. Well, next on Carolina Morning, all-inclusive resorts are growing and offering more to guests. See what some of the best in the world are featuring now. We'll also have a check of your weather, traffic, and top stories when Carolina Morning continues in about two minutes. We'll be right back at 645.